And this task 8 is about wire material. So we have some underground cable. It's quite long. And because it's a real power cable <coughs> necessary to power a small village or a suburb of a city, something like this, there's a rather big cross-sectional area. And because of the big cross-sectional area, <coughs> the cable also has quite low resistance, just some couple of micro ohms. And now the question is, what is the specific conductivity of the material? Or we could also calculate resistivity. And what material is the wire probably made of? And here, because this is just a screenshot, the link won't work anymore. But if I go back to the origin exercise booklet and open up this link, there should be a nice table somewhere on the Wikipedia page. Um, yeah, at, the at the end, as usual, yeah. here. At the end where we have resistivity, conductivity measured at 20 degrees Celsius. Um, and from this table we can then maybe guess what material the wire is made of or this cable is made of. Um, any lucky guess what material would you use or suggest for such cables? It could be copper, um, but copper is too expensive. Is too expensive. Um, so you use, you use copper for wires because it has a good conductivity, but for such cables, it's probably too expensive. So let's calculate. Uh, so what do we do? Use the very same formula as before. So resistance is if we want to uh, use conductivity here once again, which was this kappa. And we say, OK, it's once again length divided by kappa and cross-section area. And now rearrange this equation to calculate kappa. So we bring, we multiply with kappa, we divide by the resistance. So we get length divided by resistance and area and insert all the values 10 kilometers divided by 2.25 micro ohm so micro is 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm and Cross-sectional area is 120 square millimeter. And we already discussed that square millimeter in the last task is 10 to the power of minus 6 square meter. And the kilo here from the kilometer is the same as 10 to the power of 3. OK, um, so we have lots of powers of 10. Um, and if we check the units, 1 over ohm is Siemens and 1 meter will cancel with the square meter, so we get Siemens per meter, which is nice. Um, so for the remaining number calculation, I will once again use octave and maybe move this to the top here a little bit. So the length is the length is 10 kilometers, so 10 to the power of 3, or 10 times 10 to the power of 3, better like this. So 10,000 meters, as you can see, the resistance is 2.25 micro, and the cross section area is 120 times 10 to the power of minus 6. And so then the kappa that we should get is length divided by resistance divided by area. And uh, this does not make too much sense. Uh, so what is the what is the problem here in my calculation? I had the same problem. You, you had the same problem? Yeah. Interesting. I thought that maybe it's not micro, but it's milli. Maybe it should be milli. But because also, also it's too big. Even yes. with the mi uh, even with millimeter, it's too big. Hmm. That's a good point. So, 
Let's go back to the task sheet. Let's open this up in a new tab. And let's go to the results check. And oh, there is no, there's also no answer given there, right? Um, I, I, I have no clue. So what we can, of course, try. So you, uh, yeah, and, and you mentioned you already tried with what happens if we have the resistance in milli ohm, and redo the calculation. Well, we still get something that is way too good, right? Because the table tells us. that typical values for this um, resistivity and conductivity was where was the table for the metals here we have silver and copper um, <coughs> and they the, the highest values that you get here is something like 10 to the power of 6 so um, what, what we get is 3.7 which if I remember correctly uh, should point something to aluminum uh, because these power cables are also usually made out of aluminum um, but the good question is so if, even if we have milli ohm we are still missing three. A, a, a power of 3 Right, if we with home it works. With with ohm it works, right? Then 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 let's take ohm. So if we take ohm because even the milli is probably too small for a ten kilometer cable. So if we take ohm and then calculate kappa, then it works. So then we get the right value. So that's a good idea. So then we take um I d don't do this in the exam, uh, because in the exam, hopefully, the, the, the tasks are better checked. But th the, the micro here <coughs> is probably wrong, very wrong. So then we can skip another 10 to the power of minus 6 here. And if we do it like this, then we end up with... 37 point something times 10 to the power of 6 Siemens per meter. And this, if we check the table, gives us aluminum as the wire material or as the material of the cable. And this uh, would perfectly make sense then for such a cable. I'm not sure where, where, the, where the micro comes from. Maybe it's a Maybe it's a copy and paste error of um, some other task. I don't know. And yeah, the, there is the right emote in the chat uh, at the moment from the Necro Mongo God. Um, t total confusion. 